Hi, Audrey. Can you tell us who you are? My name is Audrey, or Audrey Ember. I like to make videos about cinematography and documenting the creative process. Or at least that's what I tell people. It's a little bit all over the place sometimes. What can you spend all day talking about? Uh, definitely video stuff or YouTube, anything related. I could talk about that for hours with other creative friends. What's your silliest fear? Needles are scary. I don't know what it is about them, but out of all things, I cannot stand needles. You want to go in and grab a coffee? Um, I actually don't <laughs> like coffee, but I'll take a tea if that's OK. So what do you spend way too much money on? Um, probably camera gear or just stuff related to making videos. Like right now, I'm currently turning a little room into mini studio area, and I'm trying to do it on a budget as much as possible, but camera gear is always expensive. Where do you like to go to have fun? I really like to hang out with other friends who also make videos. It makes me feel like I'm being productive, but at the same time, having fun. What is the most impressive skill you have? I guess you could call this a skill. My brother especially always reminds me because I always beat him whenever <laughs> we're playing like random games like uh, ping pong or something random like that. For some reason, I'm pretty good at picking them up, video games included. I don't know why, but I like it because, <laughs> I don't know, it's always fun to win. <laughs> what big life changes have you recently experienced? Well, recently, I made the decision to drop out of college again for the second time. It was definitely not the easiest decision to come to, but now that I've sort of made it and it's out of the way, I finally feel like I can move on and start going full force ahead with what I'm doing now. Can you tell us more about how you started YouTube? I always had this creative spark, right? But I didn't have... I was never good at, like, painting or drawing or anything, even when I tried. Um, but when I picked up a camera and shot my first video, I was like, there's something about this that I really like. So that's why I got started, and ever since then, I've been pretty consistent with it. How did you come up with the name Audrey Amber? There's two main reasons. The first is my last name is really hard to spell. It's Hughie. Try and spell that. I don't think you'll be able to get on the first try. Um, but also, I was in high school, and I didn't want anyone to find my channel. So I had to come up with a fake last name. and. I was asking my friends for potential last names that had to do with fire because that's my thing. I'm not a pyromaniac, don't worry. <laughs> what does YouTube mean to you today? YouTube is just such an awesome platform that literally anyone with a camera and some editing software, <laughs> or you don't even have to edit your videos, <laughs> can post stuff and can potentially be seen by people from all around the world. It looks so sunny outside. I think we should go out and get some Fika. So tell us what you ordered. So apparently this is called a vacuum, which I guess it sort of looks like a vacuum, except it's green. This is a little cookie. And then this is carrot cake. So um, tell us, what's your favorite thing about being a creator on YouTube? Probably just having the freedom to do whatever I want. Can you tell us about your create her hashtag and Instagram? Last year when I was at VidCon, one of my friends was asking me, like, why are all your favorite creators guys? And that was the first time I really thought about that. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's true. They are. So I made that video, why we need more female creators. And it kind of got the ball rolling for me. And someone in the comments said, like, you should start a Facebook group and, like, allow people to connect with each other. It's like, that's a good idea. And after that, create her, the hashtag started and I like to describe it as a resource for women who are interested in filmmaking, tech, cinematography, photography, all that stuff, to be able to find one another more easily. Why is it important to get more women into the creator society? I think diversity in any way is super important. And it's no secret that, you know, filmmaking, tech, it's mostly a male-dominated space right now. I don't watch creators just because they're a girl or a guy. I watch because of whatever content they're making. But I do think it's really important to have a more balanced playing field so that everyone can have the same opportunities. And yeah, I think it's really important to have those role models to look up to when you're growing up. Even if subconsciously you might not realize it, I think it impacts like your interests and it might you know, inspire someone in a, in a different way if they see someone like them doing something they're potentially interested in. 
If you hadn't started a YouTube channel, what would you be doing today? Well, before I decided to go into media stuff, I was gonna be, I was gonna go to college for environmental sciences. That's before I even knew that a job in media was possible, which sounds crazy now, but in high school, I was just surrounded by, I was just in that environment where it was like math, engineering, or science. So I was like, okay, I kind of like environmental sciences, I'll do that. If you could start your life all over, what would you do differently? Is it cheesy if I say I wouldn't do anything differently? What is the biggest change that you want to make in your life? One thing I really try and do as much as possible is like push myself out of my comfort zone. Just trying to do that every single day is like the fastest way to grow. So I guess doing that. Okay, do you have time for a couple of more questions? Um, sure, but I should probably start heading out now because I do think I should film this afternoon at some point. <laughs> For what in your life are you most grateful? Um, probably just having like an awesome family and friends who constantly support what I do. And also having an internet connection, even though that sounds kind of cheesy. I mean, it's necessary to do what I do. And without platforms like YouTube and stuff, I wouldn't be able to do this, so. What three habits will improve your life? Ooh, for me, it's running, um, not getting up extremely late, and just time management. What is your best piece of advice for aspiring creators? Just get started. I think so many people overthink it, me included. But I mean, even though it could be scary at first and you might not necessarily like everything that you're making, um, you just have to get started. Thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.